How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am out at a campground, which might very well end up being, being yes, the final camping trip of Chapter 4 here on Van Life Plus. We'll see what happens. I rolled in last night in the pitch black. If you missed that video, well, make sure you're subscribed and that you have notifications turned on so you never miss a Van Life Plus episode. And it was pouring rain and pitch black, like I said, which I decreed in that video, I shall never leave for a camping trip this time of year at that time of day ever again not only is the is night driving no longer fun really for me but when it's pouring rain it makes it even worse um it's not pouring right now it is lightly raining but i'm getting some blue skies over there so all good things lindsay and sadie should be on the road they should probably be rolling in in about an hour or so but everything is very very damp around here so what i want to do is get the bear den set up so we sort of have a nice warm dry place to go to whilst they are <clears throat> pitching their tent, which they will probably do right there. We were here before all together way back in chapter one of my van life, uh, which was three years ago. I cannot believe it's taken me that long to get back here. This place is absolutely gorgeous. The lake is right at Lucky's rear end. It is basically fall, so I don't think, <laughs> who am I kidding? I was gonna say, I don't think I'll be getting in that lake. I wouldn't be getting in that lake if it was the peak heat. I mean, I might float in it but it's very green in Alberta, yuck. Although it's close to the mountain, so we can't give it too much shit. All right, so I got the um, propane tank and the portable fire pit over here. That's what I wanna get inside the bear den. That is up there. I'm gonna try and do it without completely and utterly ending up hating my life. It's much easier with two people. Very doable with one person. The chances are by the time you're done, you're just gonna need a drink. I really, I really, this is why I don't tent, right? Because I not only do I hate setting stuff up and then tearing it back down, but when you have to do it in miserable shit like this, it's even worse. But we've got this damn thing. We might as well get it set up and I'll just deal with it. Heave and ho, darling. Heave and ho. You. All right, it's time to do another purge of all of our shit. Barely too much. Now, Play roll and catch. Roll and catch. Nailed it. I don't know where I'm going. This should probably go here. This is an unpowered campground, so I'm just letting Lucky run right now to top up the house batteries with the alternator charger, which I'm happy to report. I noticed on the drive-in last night, it, it topped up. The, the watts from the alternator to the house battery dropped down to like 17 watts, which is basically nothing and both the house battery and my engine bay battery were at 14.4 volts. That's how you know everything is tippy topped up. And I didn't use a lot of power last night, but I like having lots, so Lucky's doing some work right now. Okay, so we got these stupid things, these stupid things, those stupid things. What else? Where's the rest of the stupid things? Is that it? Is that all three? Okay, it is. All right, wish me luck. I haven't set this up for a few weeks. I'm definitely better at it than I was the very first time I did it. True words never spoken. Okay. Excuse you, me. Oh my goodness. Come on, science, mother. Fine. You want to do it that way? We'll do it your way. Not today. Ha! Okay, that could have been far worse. Okay, and we just gotta add these three poles. That's the only poles that remove from this thing. They go into the door frame here. One, find the hole. Two, ha, three. Uh. All right. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Probably the best place for this thing. I'm definitely gonna wanna close the walls so that once we get the fire pit going, it traps the heat in here and turns it into an absolutely delightful sauna to go. Out here, we'll release these guys. And there you go. Flippy floppy, and you can secure them at the bottom, of course, if you're in really windy conditions. 
that should be fine. I'm hoping for us that if there's any wind, the trees will just say nay to that. Because another thing I don't want to do is use all of the ropes to like peg it down and stuff, right? That's just another one more obnoxious step that I freaking hate. Oh, there's little corpses of bugs in here. Lovely. That's what you get for staying in my bear den. All right. Plus they're all wound up so nicely here. Why would I want to undo this and then have a whole bunch of rope to have to contend with when we leave? Okay, I want this thing getting too soaked. Maybe we'll just put it back up here for now. Everybody calm down. I'm not wearing flip flops. Now I think I'm gonna spin this bad boy maybe this way. And then pull him this way. There. Then maybe also we can get POS deployed. Before that though, let's get the inside of the house a little bit more organized. Now that I won't have to move Lucky until I have to leave. Effectively transforming her into camp mode. Ugh. That. And now, a place to sit, please. Yep. Haha. -ha. There we go. Place to sit. We're going to take our laundry bag and we will put it behind the passenger seat, as well as uh, the rest of our leveling blocks. Make it easier to get again when we want to leave. All right. Progress. Now for you, you bastard. Come out and join us, won't you? <laughs> One strap that doesn't stay put. Two straps that doesn't stay put. Straps into the back pocket. Unfurl. Support arm one. Support arm two. Pull it out. Stick it in. Why well, I'm doing it upside down and backwards? I don't know. Apparently I like hard mode right now. Twist and tug. Oh, that's really stuffed in there. <laughs> Come on, you piece of, this is why it has that name. Huh. There's your maximum limit, you bustard. There you go. Oh my goodness gracious. Stupid reason, 4,897 to have a Leatherman. Unpry your freaking POS awning legs. Quality material, quality material. It lives up to its name, what can I say? Huh. There we are. Welcome to the party, you jank bastard. My blue skies have vanished. <laughs> Not ideal. That's okay. We basically have camp all set up now, right? Like everything is, is good to go. We've got shelter, we've got POS out. The van is pretty much ready. The big fat pussy is nice and cozy. I guess we should go see her soon. She's actually never been here. When I was camping here back in chapter one, I wasn't actually living in the van full time yet. I was still building it. You can see all those videos here on the channel in the uh, chapter one playlist, but both Stella and Penny were still staying. They were staying with my parents and I was still building the van when my parents, they were, they were still, they still lived in Calgary, right? So it seems like, seems like forever ago, but it also seems like yesterday. It's very strange. Anyway, yeah, the, uh, the blue skies have absconded with themselves. So I'm gonna stop standing out here in the rain like a DA. <sighs> I probably get something to eat. But first, oh, sorry, Penny. We just did a whole round of filming. Walked in, said hello to you, gave you some treats, but we weren't recording. So I guess you get a couple more. I guess it's good I only gave you three. She's like, oh goody, oh goody. I don't know why I didn't push record. That's crazy. You want one of these? Yeah. You think this is gonna be our last camping trip of the chapter? What do you say? We have to get you outside into the bear's den in your catio as well, won't we? I would just let you run around in the bear's den with it all zipped up because the door does close. Um, but it's a little wet and yuck out and I don't want your paws getting all dirt nasty. All right, you've had your meat puck. I should probably put some food in my face hole as well. Oh, the other thing that's nice about running the van is the using its heater to warm it up in here. It's very warm in here right now. It, it's coming down 
so hard right now too. Like I <laughs> look at how the water is cascading off the bear's den. Just coming off in rivers of nonsense. I really hope that Scotch guard, uh, you know, works. <laughs> Fingers crossed. You know, it's funny. I know some people absolutely love camping in the rain. And I've actually seen YouTube videos that do really well of people out in stuff like this getting set up. Those people have ponchos on when they're doing it and a little bit more of an elaborate setup. Me, I am just fine doing it like this. I'm going to hopefully finish off these Farm Girl Fruity Loop knockoffs just so I can get the bag out of my life. I am going to need a bowl. Tell me I didn't move the bowls. Oh, that's a very large bowl. Well, that'll get the job done. And I'll tell you what. Right. Yes, sir. Thank you for your services, farm girl. Now I need a spoon. You're kind of in the way. Who put you there? And then over here, we will get our milk. I believe we have Dutchman Dairy on the go right now, don't we? Oh yeah, I'm gonna need my caffeine as well. Let's not forget about that. Careful! You might end up liking something that I like. Everybody just calm down. Oh yeah, I also got yogurt. I got all the things. I'm so prepared. On to the cereal. Beautiful, all right. Bone apple tits, we'll do bacon and eggs tomorrow. <clears throat> yeah, and this is what I was talking about. You can come in here, you can see house battery volts and starter battery volts. 14.4, 14.3, only pulling 54 watts now. It was just over 600 about two minutes ago. So now we know that the house batteries are all topped up. So thank you for your services, Lucky. Enjoy your rest. It is a nice sound, I do get that. You just don't want to hear it all weekend. Life-changing events. Life-changing events for us. some sun poking through it's not really coming through on the camera but I think the only rain that is left that's the dumbest statement I was about to say I think the only rain that's left is the ones coming from the trees hang on the only sound of water falling is the water falling from the trees I don't think it's actually raining anymore and my Blue skies are back. Heck yes. I have appropriated them. They are my blue skies. <sighs> well, now is as good a time as any, I guess, to maybe take a peek at that new chair that I picked up at Craze Outdoors yesterday. What say you? When I moved the van this morning, when I had to reorient it, I actually just drove down to the boat launch area where the garbages are, and I got rid of the box that it came in. Hello, Penny, you've been keeping it nice and warm for me. So it's a little less bulky than it was last night. And it's a nice little carry bag. Wow. Huh. Yeah, that's not too shabby. So yeah, it's a kuma chair. It's not a hammock chair or it's not the big lazy bear chair. Uh, as I mentioned in the last video, I really wanted one of those because they look so cozy. You can like bring your feet up and curl up in it. Very uncomfortable on my back. Whereas this one worked out, will seem to work out very well. And obviously I had to get it in the same color as the bear's den because, well, duh. There she is. Look at that. I think I'm ever going to get it that tight again. <laughs> and do the strappy. Fold it down. There you go. Flippy dippy. Look at that. Hang on, I can't sit in a new chair without this. I mean, you could, but it just wouldn't be as enjoyable. <sighs> oh. <sighs> ah. 
I like it. Right around the side here, we got our cup holder. Look at that, perfect. Even has a little spot to put your cell phone. I'm not gonna try and stuff you in there, that would be awkward. And then, <laughs> I love that I was sitting in craze in this chair, trying to decide which one I wanted with Conrad yesterday at the store. And uh, this, he's like, this, this was his selling feature. He's like, it also comes with a wine glass holder. Great. <laughs> I mean, I get that some people would love that. Me, I'm just probably going to do a whole bunch of this fidgety nonsense with it. Say it with me. Everybody just calm down. All right. But that is kind of cool. Maybe I will get myself a little wine glass and put ginger ale in it. Or champagne if I'm out in the bush during New Year's. Who knows? But yeah, I can't remember the exact name of this thing right now. But it is a Kuma chair. Does it say it on here? Maybe it will. No, it does not. Not to be removed until it's delivered to the consumer. Nailed it. Getting wet. <laughs> it's getting, I'm getting water on the chair. Get it inside. Get it inside its home. Ha 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 ha. That's the only problem with this, with, I'm in the bear den. It uh, turns the light very red, obviously, when I'm filming, but that's just the way it is. And some people might be wondering, well, where's your, your hammock chair? It is very much still up there. I still have it. I just, I like something a little bit more structured to sit in every once in a while. The hammock chair is super nice on occasion, but when it's your only option, you kind of feel obligated to, to hammock in it, which isn't the worst thing, but... It's always good to have options. Now this way, I can entertain company if I'm by myself. Yay. How's this doing? Hey. Hey. The Scotch Guard so far seems to be working great. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Good to know. We're going to make this nice little hovel with heat. Open this guy up. This is the Outland Fire Bowl that we've had for a while. This was sent to me by Vernon. Hope you're doing well, sir. I haven't seen you for a while. But thank you again for this bad boy. We absolutely adore it. Where are you going to live? Hey! Perfect. Yeah, it's just a nice, simple, basically think about it. Just like a barbecue without a grill. It's got the same attachment down here. Hiya! Unwind this, attach it to our propane tank, and then you just boom, and then woof, with a match or something. But the, the hose is nice and long, so you can actually have the propane tank wherever far away, and the actual fire bowl in the center of the bear den. There we go. You piss off you. All right. It's gonna, mm. Ah, it's quality content. <laughs> quality content. <sighs> it is called the Kuma Switchback Chair. I like it even more now. I don't know. That's one of those words that when I first heard, I first heard it actually with the movie Switchback with uh, Danny Glover and Dennis Quaid back from the 90s. And that was referring to a, a, a railway system or whatever. But just, and then you've also got that with uh, roads, switchbacks on mountains and stuff, right? I don't know why, this is one of those words that when I was a little boy really clicked with me and I've always liked. I think I would have remembered it, but I don't think we actually said those words out loud when I was at Craze yesterday. It's the little things. I'm just in the back here, I actually buried underneath all of this stuff that item that I finally received from EcoFlow yesterday in the mail. If you know, you know. See you in 2025. I was also talking about how I reorganized a few things in Lucky the other day, and part of that was uh, moving the induction cooktop back here. So it actually lives back here now. That's what freed up all that space in my flip-up cabinet. Not gonna be using the induction cooktop on this trip, most likely, because we don't have shore power and I don't have a lot of solar. I could use the EcoFlow and then charge it up on the drive home, and if I need to, I will, but I should be able to get away with simply using my Jetboil propane stove tomorrow morning when I'm making breakfast. For now, I'm just gonna leave it here because all the surfaces to put stuff on are still saturated. What I was thinking when I was back here is I received from Jeremy a few days ago, a new latch for right here, right? And this one is working. This is the one that I installed when I was in BC, but you can see that eventually, 
it's going to fail. And this was his concern, right? So it's just, it's, it, 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 it works and it actually works better like latching than when I first installed it because the metal has actually bent. The problem is when Lucky takes off, this heavy ass drawer does do this. And you can see there is a lot of motion with this latch. And the one that Jeremy sent me, which is at the front of Lucky here, I believe it's one that just kind of you know, like flips over and goes into itself. So, may oh, hello, Penny. You hanging out with Sailor Jerry? Having some water? Good girl. That bowl from Cam still working real good. Here, move this over. Get it out of your way a bit. There you go. That thing from Jeremy. I say that I cleaned up in here. I forgot to talk about this in the last video. I meant to say thank you in the last video, sir. I forgot, Paul sent me a gift card to Subway. Thank you so very much. Gift cards, one of the best things you guys can send. That was on my wish list. Paul, you the man, I greatly appreciate it. Doesn't take up any room in the van and helps with, you know, sustaining me. You can't have Subway. Well, that's not necessarily true. You could probably have some of the tuna. <laughs> Good girl. All right, so up here was this, this little latch. So let's check it out here. Bring it out in a second, Penny. So we put this here. All right, like super simple. Okay. Then how does this, let's see here. All right, and this has got a, oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's exactly what I said, right? So that goes like that. This goes over here. And when it's actually mounted properly, this would be up and this would go down into there. Maybe we get that installed right now. What say you? Doesn't matter what you say. It's my video. I'll do whatever the hell I want. Ooh, it's getting nice and sunny now. Heck yes. All right. Is this battery dead? Oh, <laughs> okay then. Uh, I didn't realize I had a huge dead battery. How about the one off of the vacuum? Is this one good? Now it's dead too. Yo, this is so unlike me. <sighs> Where are my tiny batteries then? I know they're full, but I don't know where I put them because I cleaned up. Isn't it always the way? That's better. All right, where were we? Remove this guy. Ah, all right, that one's off. So this goes, see, the same problem kind of exists though. The gap is quite large. I guess I could just do it down here. I'm gonna have to. It's the only way it works proper. It's not even gonna be proper. We'll try. We shall try. But is that gonna... So my issue, right, is that the distance here, if, you, if I have all four of this side here, I'm not gonna get all three here. This has to be close and this certain distance this way, right? So I'll try putting it down here where it allows me to be closer. I'm gonna do it up as high as I can just so it's not annoying. Um, and pray for it. No, I can't do that either. Well, I can't put it all the way to the edge because I have a seam here. <laughs> it's almost like none of this is meant to go together. All right, give me a second. Okay, I can adjust that one left or right as needed. Okay, Let's see what happens when I Oh, nice. Kind of straightened it out. Perfect. Whoop. Look at that. Heck yeah. Doesn't come out. Excellent. Look at that. It should hopefully last a little bit longer. And this is just total preventative measures before catastrophic failure. Cause that's a little, that's a little jank looking. Excuse me, are you feeling lonely? Somebody is flying some sort of plane all over the place here. It's another time of year where I'm not quite up on my seasonal transitions. These are the only shoes I brought with me. They're my, you know, slip on, sketchers, runners, whatever. Not ideal for this terrain for sure. I forgot to grab my boots. Is what it is. I would like to say live and learn, but I probably won't. <laughs> I'll continue to make the same mistakes that I always have. I don't want to just come down 
Ooh, take a little walk here. Get a little bit closer to the water. <sighs> See, we're basically in the mountains. There's one right there. Not 100% sure, it's been three years, but I think that's a little higher than it was the last time I was here. Does that make sense for this time of year? I don't think so. But I know that there's uh, one of the thumbnails is me down sitting on one of those rocks looking out over the lake. Those rocks appear to be underwater. Coming back here reminds me of something that was really important and still is important to me, but uh, especially in that first year, it was just a simple fact that I never really did any camping before my van life, right? And I never realized how many amazing little hidden gems there are so close to home, like right in my metaphorical backyard. And that's one thing I've really appreciated about my van life, simply in the province of Alberta and the fact that my cousin invited me on that very first trip to Beaver Mines. Doing stuff like this has been lots of fun and very comforting for the soul, to be sure. And that's the thing, like you don't have to think about getting into the van life to travel all over creation and go absolutely everywhere. Chances are there are lots of very beautiful spots you could find not too far from where you might be putting down roots or have spent the majority of your life. You just got to get out there and find them. Yeah, this is where I drove to this morning to get rid of the box and some other garbage. This is the little boat launch here. It's hand launch only. You're not going to be back in a car down there, and they made sure of it by putting a giant boulder in the way, but you can walk your stuff down. I don't know that we'll be doing any of that this weekend. I mean, never say never, but... Oh, no, wait, you got to say never. I don't have my floaty with me. <laughs> <laughs> never say never. Anything is impossible, but you don't have the stuff to do it. Oh, in that case, never. <laughs> Just after one o'clock, Lindsay and Sadie must have gotten a much later start than they intended to. Or maybe Lindsay, no more than likely, Lindsay saw the forecast and said, what's the point? I don't want to set up in the rain. <laughs> and then just waited it out. So hopefully they'll be here soon. <sighs> it even says, no propellers. Well, you're no fun. <laughs> it's a very small lake. I mean, it's hard for me to even call it a lake. It's more like a large pond, but yeah, right down here, hand launch your shit and away you go. <sighs> and there's actually a really nice walking path that goes all the way around. I did that three years ago. I don't know that I'll be doing it now. Never say never. Ah! <laughs> you know what I say? I wouldn't swim in it if it was hot enough. Looking at it now, I probably would. There's not, doesn't look to be a lot of yuck out there. It's all very rocky, which this city boy approves of. to do today.
Miss Penny, I hear somebody coming. You see them? Good girl. They have arrived. I wandered over to the washroom and there's actually service. And I got a text message from Lindsay saying she had a leak or a flood or something in her furnace room. So they had to wait until the maintenance guy arrived at like noon. So that's why, that's what happened. And now here they are. Let's go see Sadie, shall we? <laughs> oh, hello. Hello. How are you? Cold. And wet. <laughs> Dry. It's been on and off all day. Yeah. Like it was barely raining when I got here last night. Then it started pouring this morning. Yeah. yeah. And then it was blue sky when I first got out. Then gray. And I'm like, where'd the blue go? And now the blue's back. It's been. Yeah, it's like a whole gray over that way. It's like we're gonna wait until we set up the tent. Yeah, it's kind of right. Well, I must so. Moistness. Well, it's going to be moist either way. <laughs> I know. I know. Dude, everything is. <laughs> I also love that you just set off everybody who doesn't like the word moist. <laughs> Sadie's never seen the bear den before. Oh, wow. Now she gets to experience it firsthand. <laughs> Lindsay cracked hers. She's given a cake face a try, and apparently she found one for me. I. Uh, I'm not really drinking beer anymore, but I'll drink one. <laughs> she thinks I would have liked it. This is almost gone oh, anyway. I don't know if they'll like it at all. I got it from the computer. <laughs> so I mean, chances are good. Chances are very good. Hello? Hello? <laughs> hey! Look at that. Where's this from? Why it matters. Like I'm such a freaking connoisseur. It's from Calgary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, just, it's from Born Brewing. Never heard of them, but they're in Calgary. This is right there. Crafted in Calgary. Hey, the, the co-op liquor stuff's pretty good, so that's hilarious. Get lucky. I just loved how many options there were. I was like, ooh, look at all of the craft beer. And then I walked around the corner and was like, ooh, look at all the sweet shit. Mm, yeah. yeah. New liquor store. You can do it, Sadie. Get that chair set up. Just last Friday. Oh, dude. Yeah. Get, <laughs> what, what did I do? I went and I did laundry the other day yeah. when I was going through a bunch of stuff, whatever. I was washing my sheets and whatnot. Hey, this is why we can't have nice things. Sorry. It's people's kids. Um, <laughs> and then I, I make the bed or whatever and I get back down to Walmart and then I come around to the back. It was my pillowcases and my sheets that I was doing. Yeah. Right? So they all got cleaned. I come around to the back of Lucky. I open up the rear doors. Guess what's on my pillow? Water. Stink bug. <gasps> Um, are you kidding me? And it was the second one. Oh. I found I found a bunch flew out basically. I don't know where from when I was down in Fish Creek Park the week prior. Yeah. But yeah, these stupid stink bugs in BC, man. He's just on my pillow. I pulled them off and stomped them to death in the Walmart parking lot. Oh, so he's probably smelled one. I don't know if I did because I was outside. Oh, but I'll tell you that. I'll tell you this. That night when I was trying to sleep, every little freaking smell I didn't recognize, I thought for sure I was being swarmed by stink bugs in the back of Lucky. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what they smell like. Lindsay smells like kind of, they, she says they smell like grass. It's like penny. <sighs> Metallic penny-ish grass. Metallic penny-ish grass. There's a title. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you probably can't hear her because of my mic. She's just over there going, son. <laughs> I guess I could take the mic off now that they're here. But I'll have to remember to put the mic back in when we get that uh, fire pit going. Because man, does it create some crazy squeal on the on the camera. There's been planes and helicopters all day. And I noticed that there's trucks for fires and stuff oh, is like there? that. Well, I mean, on the way down, there's like a whole bunch of trucks and it's like fire crew and there's all these things. Like, oh jeez. There's no fires here, as far as I know. It's been Certainly not pissing now. rain for the last 48 hours. It better not be. Yeah, Sadie and I are going to. Do you want me to just keep this in the floor? Is there a better time to drink it? <laughs> Listen to well, me. I have another one open. It's empty. All right, let's get lucky. It's not worse than lucky. I don't. Get lucky. Mm. Yeah, it's lucky. <laughs> No, Lucky's better. Really? That's too skunky. You think Lucky's better? Than that? Yeah, that's skunky. 
but it says it right on the can, Lindsay. It says premium style lager. How could they possibly be wrong? They lied. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is our problem right on the can. It's beer best paired with adventure. Let's go. Oh, oh <laughs> no. <laughs> you were best paired with adventure. I saved it as best I could with a little quick swipe of the paper towel. That was a that was a whole lot right there, a whole lot. <laughs> so happy. Mm, right, that's another reason why I continue to use the mic. I noticed this when I was editing a video the other day, that really cool video where Lindsay and I were on Sebastian going to Cribbage Island for the first time. The crackling that's happening on the audio. I don't know why that happens. That's only with the native audio on the iPhone. But as soon as I put the microphone in, the crackling goes away, and it's just so much better. <sighs> Guess I gotta buy an iPhone 16 Pro Max now. All right, Sadie, well, Lindsay, wow. Holy, f there goes the piss bottle. Excuse me, that is wet silicone on there. And now it's got, oh no, it's good. Everybody just calm down. Okay, Sadie, have a conversation with me. I wanna see how my mic picks you up from there. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, how was your drive in? It was okay. Did you see any interesting beasts of the wild? We saw deer, they were very terrifying. How terrifying were they? They were murderous. That's perfect. <laughs> I don't know if you're allowed to say that on YouTube, but whatever. Yes, you're right. You can't use the word murderous. You know what? It's a joke, but pretty soon I wouldn't be surprised. Unaliverous? Unaliverous? <laughs> un un no, no, no. Unaliverous? No. no, you know what? You just say you say ketchup. You don't, yeah, or, 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 or tomato juice. You don't, you don't say, you don't say blood. You say ketchup. That's, that's what big YouTubers do, they say ketchup instead of blood. Tomato Those YouTubers sound like idiots. Okay, we are going to stick with the microphone audio because I have no idea why that crackling happens when it is unplugged, but it's highly annoying. Like me! Hey, you said it! Uh -huh. Yeah, she might have seven tents, but she only has one here with her. We just heard a, oh no, and Lindsay said it's broken and not in the easily fixable way. And now it is getting windy, what the F? What happened? Screw is out, so the pool is out. <clears throat> Reason 5096 to have a Leatherman. This is a little bit more difficult to do with one hand. Hold this! <laughs> it's a Phillips, right? Like a star? Yeah. There you go. That should help. Hopefully it is easy to fix. Yeah. Alternatively, I did just say, let's go into Coleman and you can buy a new one. She said, we might have to. I was okay with that. What did I need? I don't even know what I wanted to go to Coleman for. <sighs> Oh yeah. All I'm seeing is new tent 24, 2025. <laughs> is this, when did you get this one? Was it the beginning of last year or is this just brand new this year? Uh, no, we had it all of last year. And was this like, you, did you first set it up at Sandy McNabb? Uh, last year? No, Sandy McNabb was the old tent. Okay. Then go. Uh -huh. Hey, Lindsay and Sadie got their tent up. I got a big fat putty tat in my arms and we are going to attempt to give you a little bit of a brushing right now, aren't we? Where is the table the driest? Really like this, see? All right, let's get your brushes. Yes, I do mean plural. This one to take all the excess off. This one to de-shed ya. All right, let's see how this goes, eh? There you go. Welcome to the party, pal. I know. I got so much. It's getting colder. Why you? Why you got so much? Why are you shedding your coat? You silly kitty cat. Yeah. Look at all this. Look at all this. Unbelievable. Oh, I know. You're so hard done by, aren't you? That's just crazy, Penny. Feel that nice breeze blowing up? Whoa! Oh, there goes all your fur. My goodness. Back from whence it came, apparently. Huh. Oh. Wind's picking up. Getting some schmutz blowing down on us now. All right. Well, the wind is actually helping. Blow it away. <laughs> I'm doing good. You're a good girl. <laughs> yeah, showing everybody your butt. Rude. That's pretty good, huh? Should give you a little buffing. A little buffing with this one now. 
There you go. Good girl. Look at you looking all fancy now, huh? Yeah. Good girl. This was sent to me by a subscriber. Equigroomer. You think it's for horses? Horses and Penelope's. Good girl. Right, don't run away. Put your brushes away. I still want to go through this. Get rid of all this stuff. I don't need it. It's so stressful. All right. <laughs> You're such a well-behaved putty tat. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Hello. Good girl. Yeah, we're going to have Smokies tonight. Lindsay's making dinners. I'm making breakfast. And she got some, I can't remember, the whiskey garlic? Whiskey honey or something like that? Some Smokies? I'm very hungry. That cereal's not exactly filling me. I just had a fig bar. It was tasty. It helped. <gasps> Who's that? Do you see them coming? Do you see them coming? Who's that, Penny? Oh, you don't give a shit? Shocking. <laughs> That's the bear den. <laughs> oh, yeah, it'll keep us nice and warm tonight. Oh, oh thank you. That's a lot of hey, floofs just hey. flying away. Oh man, you should see. I was crazy. That's how we're gonna make a second cat. Yikes. There, the princess. Hello, hello. <laughs> Good girl, Penny. All right, we got the ice maker making some ice for us. About 16 minutes till we'll have some frozen delights. Oh, we got neighbors. A little red car just pulled in in the site up there. And I need a cup because it's uh, it's about rum o'clock for this this boy. Um, we are camping. Let's use our new latch open this ah there she is hello old friend get you filled up to the top with some sailor jerry's and that's now in the way <laughs> some creamy coconut dr pepper and it'll be like we're right back in montana wait can you see the bottom of your bowl shocking all right, so four minutes till ice. Figured I better put some food in my gob, a little bit more than just a fig bar. So I got some, I got this PC Organic Smooth Peanut Butter. It's pretty runny. I hope it stays on the bread. I just had to stir it for like two minutes. It was crazy. And it says on the label, oil separation may occur. That shit don't happen with Kraft Peanut Butter. That shit is not real peanut butter. Shut up. And anyways, I'm also going to compliment it with this Country Bee Cinnamon Honey that I just received from a subscriber. Figure that'll go pretty well. It'll make for a great little lunchy, snacky, whatever today. Oh, this, this honey smells so good with the cinnamon in it. Oof, buddy boy. Simple snacks. That's still the best part. Okay, now just hope your peanut butter doesn't run. Words I never thought I'd say. Mmm. We good. Okay, that sandwich was not long for this world. Ice is ready. The only really problem with this giant ass Yeti mug. <laughs> We're gonna need more ice. Mm -hmm. And go. There you go, bud. There's definitely room in there for another one of these. But we're making more ice and we'll need to top up in a little while. Cheers. Mm. <sighs> it's so happy. <laughs> I'm almost at a point where I might need to move my chair out to overlook the lake. Right? It is getting there. Yeah. It hasn't been raining for a while. <sighs>
Okay, we got even more ice being made. Huh. Lindsay and I just went for a walk, not all the way around the lake, but a little clip. We went and found some sun because it was getting mighty, mighty cold sitting right there as we do. And I'm getting my adult station set up. <laughs> and, oh, she's gonna add to it. And Lindsay's getting dinner going. She got her bibiquet happening over here. She got some corn on a cob wrapped in their tin foil condoms as she do. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Look at that cute little Mickey added to the collection. Hex, yes. Bacardi, I approve. This used to be called Oak Heart. Now it's just Bacardi spiced. I was like, that corn smells way too good. It's only been on there for 30 seconds. What is that? <laughs> yeah, what were you cooking on at last? Our, our hamburgers from you and Brooklyn. Oh, that's okay. Just let that burn off for a time. Eh, it's all good. If only she, um, if only she had a brand new grill somewhere that she could use to cook stuff on. I, I don't know who got that for her. I don't know what's going on. Listen, she, you know what her excuse was when I asked her, I'm like, why did you bring the barbecue? Doesn't the new Kuma have a grill? What did she say? What was it you said? It looked dirty. <laughs> it looked so nice though. And I wholeheartedly sympathize with her. It does. <laughs> it's very shiny. It'll be ruined. <laughs> it will be ruined. This is a kuma stove. It also came from Craze Outdoors, just like the bear den and the new chair. It could go in the dishwasher, yes. Mm. Muck it up. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're <laughs> in this thing smoking away over here. <laughs> and there's nothing even on the grill. <laughs> I know this. Smoking off the grease. Yeah. You know, it doesn't even matter because. It's a different kind of musk. That is a, yeah, right? That's okay. I got nobody to impress except apparently the wild animals. The musk of meat. All right, is my ice done yet? <laughs> Seven minutes, man! Yeah, we'll bring her out when we get the uh, fire pit going for sure. But why do I need to wait for the new ice to be made? I do not. This is a Yeti. There is still ice left over. What the hell am I doing with my life? More time of a break? Ooh, that sounds, that's the stupidest thing you've ever said. Some people's kids. Let's see if all of my propane connections were sound. Propane on. Excellent. Don't hear anything there. Power it on. Excellent. Yes. Fill this place with fire, shall we? Holy shit. It blew the match right out with a match. It's still lit. <laughs> I dropped. I dropped this right in there. <laughs> the pressure of the propane threw it out. That's pretty cool. <sighs> bye bye. Oh, it's so like instantly warm in here. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh, nope. There we go. What more do you need? Actually, it's funny I say that. <laughs> We could use, there it is, had it plugged in, got it all charged up, because eventually we are going to lose this beautiful light and all of that blue sky. Thank you for sticking around. We're going to want a little bit more light in here. Let's go. There we go. Ah, very nice. Oh, she said it when the camera was. I couldn't remember earlier. I was like, Lindsay's guy's like, whiskey. I, I think I said whiskey garlic first, to be fair. We'll have to go back. What did I say first? I'm making breakfast and she got some, I can't remember, the whiskey garlic, whiskey honey or something like that. Some, ah, I also said it could have been whis whiskey honey. Yeah, don't try being Lindsay living in the world with me when I do shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Y'all. Ooh, Lindsay just said, have you seen my new toy? <laughs> well, ooh, it's a light. Yes, it is. Let's so see. Look. I'll show you. Let's, Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, there it is. I'm like, it's not uh, impressive yet. Uh, oh, I'm not even Hey. Yeah. Oh, and it charges via solar. It's solar. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is this the Costco special? What's up? I don't know. What is this? No, I got it from Amazon. No. Oh. oh, yeah. 
Let's do Let's better. Do Don't do this. <laughs> yeah. So then it. Hey, look at that little rope light. That's you, cool. Yeah. So I was going to put it in on the inside tonight. Hundred percent. Yeah, you can set that up. I just put my bio light in there, but that's really pretty. Right. So we, that's we cool. put it around the propane fire when we were camping. Like it was just like this is where we corralled everybody and they put their chairs in. Yeah. It's so nice at the lake. Yeah, for sure. And then... Ooh, rolls up like a fishing line. <laughs> Me. I don't know if you heard that, so I recreated it for you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, she didn't realize the fire was on. <laughs> oh, yeah. So warm like, it's, I, it, there's no way it comes across on the camera, but as soon as you walk in, it's night and day. It's like, I need to take my flannel off yeah, now. So. Like, it's crazy. On that note, we were sitting out here chatting, and I made the stupid realization. Well, it's not a stupid realization. It's a realization of stupidity. So there's a difference, is that all of my jackets are in BC at my parents' house. I unloaded everything when I was rebuilding Lucky earlier this year. All my jackets are my nice Woodlands jacket, my Mystic, they're all out there. I have a hoodie in Grace, but I have no jacket or hoodie or my ponchos out there. I have nothing. So if it gets any chillier this weekend, it's gonna be layering the Dixons. That is literally my only choice. And Lindsay's got her poncho, which she did offer kindly. Thank you. All right, the wind keeps blowing. This thing's getting a little breezy with these walls. They shouldn't be too hard to strap down, actually. I think. And well, this side might be. Where is it? Oh, no, there it is. Just a little. There it is. And the wall's got this little tab on her. Shove it in here. There you go. Over here as well. Come here, you bastard. There you go. Nobody likes breezy walls. It's I'm in the bear den and Lindsay comes out to check the food and I just, I just hear the sound of heat <laughs> and sure as shit, she's over here roasting some wieners. They look good though. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I know, right? It's just, it is what it is. I don't know if you heard it. We both went, mm, <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> All right, the catio has been deployed. I it's just need... The barbecue is off. <laughs> this is off mode. <laughs> We're getting that char. We I love, yeah. Get that carcinogenic char. So you're like, you can't eat that. It's going to kill you. Hello. Want to come to your catio? She's like, not really. You're very loud. <laughs> what are you doing? I'd rather stay in my tiny home on wheels. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Yeah. Damn it. And here I am. Look at my butthole. <laughs> <laughs> you get her the little pillow though? Yeah, I'll get her bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this feels just like chapter one camping. I'm having so much fun. All right, here you go. Except that you weren't here. None of the cats were here. Yeah. And now, here you are. <laughs> Hello, read your newspaper. Ooh, oh, what are you gonna put on your wiener? Well, not what you're gonna put on your wiener, but thank you. <laughs> that was meant. That was meant to be inappropriate. It was hilarious. It's always great when you have to clarify that it's supposed to be inappropriate. Don't you agree? <laughs> Ooh. Like Matthew's wheeze when he's oh. touching my shrub. Lindsay's tr clearly trying to kill me. There's all this char on the corn. Unacceptable. Oh, yeah, this stuff is great. Yeah, it is. Himalayan paint. Holy shit, this is freaking like. Well, I guess chapter two. Mm -hmm. When I, I got found that it. one and I got the paprika one, but I think I don't, I don't forget. No, it. this one's great. But it's good on the corn. Yeah, if you live in Canada and Superstore. Well, I guess it's Clubhouse. You probably have this in the States too, but there's this Himalayan pink salt, black pepper, and garlic. Yeah, I found this at Superstore in chapter two. It's really good. We're going to help Lindsay out with her cob. That's what we're going to do. Nailed it. There you go. <laughs> Thanks. It's hard butter. <laughs> Let the corn melt it. If you're not going to use the grill, we'll put the camera on it. <laughs> For what? My hot water. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that way nothing gets on it. Right? I've cooked on it. <laughs> I'll probably make Sidia lunch on it. Here we are. I actually forgot my frying pan and all the things. Really? You're so unprepared. Well, I also... The flood in that furnace room must have really thrown you off. It did. Mmm. Oh, 
corn's good. It's really good on the corn. Yeah. Grab a bun. <laughs> Grab our whiskey garlic schlong. Slap it in there. A little bit of a little bit of ketchup. A little bit of mustard bone apple tits. Well, oh, you've been defeated? She wouldn't come see you? What a little bugger. She's just been over here. Yap, 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 and then Lindsay goes to pick her up, and she pisses off to the other side of the catio and won't let her pick her up. Those sausages, by and large, we didn't oh, like. My God. Um, but I was so hungry that it is absolutely gone. And now I'm realizing the one problem with the propane fire pit, I can't just toss my cob into the fire. I mean, I could, but it's ill-advised. There you go. See, that's not so bad. Yeah, your little toe beans are cold. Oh, do you got cold toe beans? You need to come closer to the fire. You're just a giant match waiting to happen if you jump right now. Hey, Penny, you want to come to Montana the next time we go? The guy at the border doesn't give a hoot. <laughs> He's like, what did he say about your cat again? <laughs> I asked him if cats can come across. Do they need any paperwork? And he's like, no, because you can just toss them out the window and they'd be fine. <laughs> because you couldn't toss a dog out the window and it'd be fine. You need paperwork for a dog. I don't understand this train of thought. Oh, it also sounds, that sounds very, that sounds so wrong. <laughs> you look at her. Love it her life. Yeah. Now you're quiet AF. <laughs> oh, Penny. Sleeping next to the pretzels. Oh. There's one of those moments where you're camping and you're having a good time with your cousins and you're just hanging out by the fire and then you remember, right, I have a vlog I need to end. And there's no other way to really end it than to just end it. Had some rum, had some good times, and <laughs> Sadie's over there singing to Bob Marley. As you do. So I'm going to leave this one here. We've got another video coming up tomorrow. I'm going to wake up, do it all over again. I'm having an absolute blast. This is a very nice throwback to chapter one, and I couldn't be happier. So until the next one, just go out there, be happy, be creative, be yourselves. Most importantly, be positive. But remember, you can't make everybody happy. You're not tacos. <laughs> <laughs>